hello. Oh, let's do that again in case you can't see he's going to the bridge. Well, hello. Hope there's enough light for you that time. Well, good news, our MG4 is nearly here. Just a couple of more days to go. So I thought before we um, pick it up, I'd do one final like long-term review on this MGHS manual. Um, I think it's an Excite Edition? I don't know. It's the one without all the extra fancy toys anyway. So I've got the, like the mid-range one I think it was. It was a cheaper one at the time. I don't know if they still do it. Um, now, we got this car because my mother's got uh, some issues getting in and out of lower down cars. And this was a bit of a bargain at the time. There was no advanced payment on the mobility scheme that we use. It was just basically the uh, the money out of our, out of our benefit after that, and uh, the idea was it was going to be easier for her to get in and out of the car. But then came the pandemic, and she didn't get out of the house. And because she didn't get out of the house that much during the pandemic, um, our mo mobility went even further downhill. Um, cartilage in her knee and everything started seizing up and things. So. Um, We've hardly used it. We've had it for three years, and we've, done, we've not even done anywhere near 10,000 miles on it. Um, now, I was hoping that after the pandemic that I would have been able to get her up and about a bit more and out of the car just to see, just to get her out of her room a bit more often, but that's not materialised anyway. So it's mainly been used for me to either run her to appointments or run errands for her, like take a dog to the vet and things like that. So. Yeah, we've only done that many miles in it, but those miles that we have done have been trouble free. There's not been one thing go wrong. We've not had one electrical fault. Um, the only thing we ever had was um, when they did a service on it once, one of the technicians didn't put the, who did the, like, the, the, the filter and everything behind the glove box. Well, they obviously took the glove box off to uh, get the old filter out and replace a new one. So when they put it back, they didn't put the uh, glove box back properly and it kept clunking down and I ignored it for a bit, think I'd give it a good few slabs, hopefully that would solve it. Uh, but, it but it didn't solve it and it wasn't after a few times I had to take mother for some medical appointments, it kept coming down and crashing on her back, like knocking her back knees when it kept opening. So I thought, right, we'll have to take it back and tell them. I mean, it was only a few weeks after the service anyway, so I said, look, after this last service, something's wrong with that glove box. I don't think you've put it back properly after doing something. So I just took it in. I took them, I took them about an hour waiting, and they sorted it, and that's it. That is the only issue we've had from it. Um, after that, the only other issues that we have have been the same sort of issues that everyone seems to have with Chinese cars, um, and that's the software. Uh, but that that's just slow running unresponsiveness and that's all because I, I'm sure Chinese software is all written in like a very simple language to understand like Python programming language by five-year-olds that they've like had in mass camp somewhere in China the you know mass training exercises or whatever you, know, you hear the stories about China don't you so um yeah it just seems like it was just, just badly written software yeah, a few glitches with that, and that's that's not something that you know stops you using the whole car. It's just the, the screen goes off every now and again, or you press a button and you have to wait ages for it. But from what I've seen on on the internet and and that um, and other YouTube videos and that, that just seems to be generally all Chinese cars are a bit like that now. And again, I think it's just because they're, they're writing it in a very simple programming language by uh, people who've not had much experience of programming and uh, they're just basically churning it out, you know, bloated software with extra command lines in it that doesn't need. So, I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you know anything about programming, you probably know what I'm talking about, but uh, if they'd written it all in machine code, right, um, it would be fast, you know, basically is what I'm saying. If they'd written it like a highly skilled, like a, a, a like a really, good language that, that takes a lot of training to, to uh, write in the software would be fast but it is it's written it's written in basically a children's language let's say you know like a primary school programming language so it is slow 
and that's about it. We've had we've had no other problems with it. I, I, and, and the thing is, I've heard people say they've had this, that, the other issues, but to tell the truth, you, you get any car from any manufacturer, and you're going to get like. 95 good ones and five bad ones in every batch there's going to be you know some little thing goes wrong in the production line and it doesn't matter if it's a ford a tesla an mg a rolls royce you're gonna have rolls royces with a glitch in the production line you know i mean it might be a bit closer to 99 out of every hundred are good with them but it, it's the same all over so when i've heard people say don't get an mg mine was terrible they're just the unfortunate ones because the vast majority of people have, have from what I've heard, I've had no real issues from them. In fact, the only main issue they had was maybe it's the dealers, and that's just customer service when they've had to take it back for something. But the cars don't come with a seven year warranty for no reason, they, they, they are fairly well made. And the thing I was most impressed with this one was just the, the feel of the interior. Something I'm going to miss in the, in the MG4 because it's a bit. It's a bit um, cut cost in areas, I mean, it's still got a nice soft dashboard and that, but um, I suppose you'll see that when, when I do a review of that when I get it in a few days. But um, other than that, I can highly recommend an MGHS. Um, one other thing, we got a manual because it was the only one in the um, showroom at the time and we would have to make it wait a few months to get a, like a, an automatic one. Um, and the main reason you might want to order an automatic one of these is the adaptive cruise control. I've had to put it with regular cruise control in this because they don't do the adaptive with the manual gearboxes. That was the main reason why I wanted one. It was a, I think it was another £389 on the scheme at the time, but I would have had to wait a few months for it. Whereas this one was available, the new letter of, letter of the registrations were just coming out. And uh, so I was like, I'll just get that one. I'll make do with it and it was no upfront cost at the time unfortunately if you want the people who want the motorability schemes uh, at the moment they these are now something like 1300 quid up front I think so kind of not a, a bargain anymore on that scheme if you, if you want to uh, get one uh, other than that nothing else to say go for the go for the um, automatic one if you can get the adaptive cruise control paid a little extra for it that's about the only thing i recommend and from what i've seen the automatic the fuel economy isn't that much off this one in fact i think they're virtually on a par with each other the uh fuel economy of these uh, of the manual and automatic so you're not really losing out that much with it and then when you've got something that's easy to drive less stressful We'll follow the car in front at the speed of the car in front at a set distance. And it does stop starting traffic and everything, you know, traffic jam assist and all that sort of stuff that comes. All those nice things that make life easier to live with when you've got something with a proper adaptive, adaptive cr control, adaptive cruise control system in the car. There, yeah, I've got that tongue twister around my mouth eventually. So, um, yeah, get the MGHS and. Uh, Remember to like and subscribe and thanks again for watching. Catch you all next time. Bye.